the Forty or Tea podcast. Up until you know, even nowadays, things like social media, uh, the on- online spaces, general support after school, that sort of transition to adulthood is is you know, there's there's so many aspects to someone's life quality that prevents us from fully being in- included and happy socially and and in society, which you know it can't be undermine just how how much that can affect people's mental health you know you hear about a lot of this concept called atomization which seems to be going on which is like the splitting off of social groups where you know a lot of people are kind of in their own house uh, in their own space but a lot of their friends are all over the place you know they they might be into like online gaming or be very into social media so all of their friends are like dotted around the country or the world and so there's not that immediate sort of social structure and um, that can support them which can be an issue i think i agree with you and i actually have a lot of friends who are dotted around the world and um, through like me um, too yeah, it's <laughs> insane, but they're like some of the best people that I know and some of the best mm-hmm. people in my life um, through online gaming and online platforms and interacting. I find also unlike posts, for example, that I follow on Instagram um, surrounding mm-hmm. like autism, ADHD, neurodivergence and mental health. Um, I usually comment on the posts if I feel like um, I relate to it. And then I, I feel like you can meet people that way too and just you know mm. common ground but yeah. yeah the the good thing about i suppose the good thing about the online spaces is that you can find a lot of autistic people whereas if you go outside and you try and meet new people it's very hard to find them sometimes <laughs> I agree. and it's not like it's not like you have a big autism sign above your head <laughs> i'm autistic be friends with me <laughs> yeah yeah it's funny cuz I, I i tend to very much attract and make friends with a lot of neurodivergent people just not, not even by going to seek them out Me too. it's just it just seems to happen <laughs> and also i definitely feel like um i connect better with other neurodivergent people um, sure. and communicating with them is so much easier than communicating with neurotypicals yeah and I, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be like autistic or ADHD individuals that you meet. I think it's just someone who has experienced a different side of life kind of give, gives them that perspective to understand or want to understand other people's like different sides of life. Like if I'm just thinking of individuals, you know, there's, I don't think there's anybody that I know that doesn't have something different about them in some way. Indeed, I agree. But that's what makes us so like special because everyone's different and everyone's unique and it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I also, I do think as well, um, communicating with other neurodiverse people um, is easier because maybe if we've created like our own understanding of neurodiverse social cues that make sense to us. <laughs> I don't mm. know, uh, perhaps. I definitely think I I have my own way of communicating and I'm very like before I would be very much stressed about trying to fit into a certain model of communicating and socializing. Whereas nowadays I'm very much like, you know, I'm just going to communicate as I, as I do. And if it feels a bit weird for you, then cool. Let's not be friends. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree with you. That's, I suppose that's one of the, You know, it can be one of the hard bits about like unmasking is because although you are becoming your more authentic self and you are displaying yourself to the world and you're feeling more authentic in in how you do that, it does also present issues when it comes to fitting in and it can sometimes make it harder to find people to be friends with. And it can also, if you've masked for a long time and you have that, that those kind of social groups, and you start to unmask, then it it can sometimes lead to you losing friends or, you know, people making weird comments like, you're more autistic nowadays, or, you know, why are you leaning so much into the label and things like that? Yeah, it really frustrates me. 
um it's well the people that were more authentic around are those who make us feel like we can be um yeah. because they're comfortable and we feel safe with them so if we are masking it's generally because we don't feel like we can be our authentic self with them sure. with people but yeah 